Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing? Today in math, we are continuing to learn about different situations. Let's take a look inside to look at the different examples of the situations that we're going to take. Solving a word problem. Now, in a word problem, you need to know some things that are very important. The first thing you need to know if it is a subtraction or an addition. And there is a way to know if it is a subtraction or addition. Another thing you need to know that in a word problem, you will find names and objects and different numbers. And these are very important when you read the word problem. You need to know who has the things, how many objects, the amount of things, you need to read it properly. And together, we are going to learn it step by step. So, Anne has four purple grapes. Sam has seven green grapes. Anne and Sam are both people. And they both have grapes. But the difference is that they're different colors and they're different amount. Now, how do we know if it's subtraction? Because in the question, they're asking, how many fewer grapes does Anne have than Sam? The word fewer means less. And when it's less, you are taking away. So it is subtraction. How many fewer grapes? And in subtraction, you put the big number at the beginning. Seven, take away four, equals three. So, three less grapes than Sam. Great job, everyone. Let's, look at, let's take a look at the other example. Solving word problems. This is another word problems. Emma buys ten red apples. She buys five green apples. Now, who is buying the apples? Emma is buying the apples. So we know the person is Emma. Ten red apples. And she buys green apples. So she buys red apples and she buys green apples. She buys both apples, but different color and taste. Let's take a look at the question. How many fewer green apples than red apples does Emma buy? Now, the word fewer, what does that mean? Less. So we are subtracting. And in subtraction, you need to remember that the big number is at the beginning. So number 10 is at the beginning. 10 take away the second number, which is 5 equals 5. 10 take away 5 is 5. So, in the word problems, we know the person and the amount and what they're buying or what do they have. And we put the subtraction at the beginning is the big number. Great job! Now, let's take a look at another example so we can practice more and more. Solving word problems. I'm sure now you know what are the main things to look for in a word problem. Beth writes on three cards. Joe writes on nine cards. Who is writing on the cards? Beth and Joe are writing on cards. But Beth is only wrote on three cards. Joe wrote on nine cards. Who has more cards? If you look closely, you will see that Joe wrote on nine blue cards. Who wrote less? Beth only wrote on three yellow cards. How many fewer cards does Beth write than Joe? What do we do? We put the big number at the beginning, the number that is more, the number that is higher, which is number nine. Nine take away three equals six. We are taking away, subtracting. 
This is a word problem as well. I hope you've enjoyed our lesson. If you have any questions about word problems and what you need to focus on, you can email me and tell me and ask me any time you like. Bye. Take care. Love you.